All right. They want us to find the measure of MK. They want us to find this angle here. Um, in order to find that, we need to know what X is. In order to find the measure of angle K, um, M, oh, excuse me, we wanted to find not the measure of angle M, but the measure of angle K. They want us to find this measure right here. So in order to find that, we need to first find out what the measure of angle M is. If we can find out what the measure of angle M is, um, then we can say that we know what the measure of angle K is because they are parallelograms and therefore they will be congruent because they are opposite angles. Here's the thing about a parallelogram. When you have two sets of, when you have a parallel line here, and you have a parallel, you have a parallel line here and a parallel line here. These lines right here, cut by a transversal, like so. Then we know that this angle and this angle are alternate interior angles, which add up to 180 degrees. So knowing that uh, these are alternate interior angles, we know that they'll have to add up to 180. So we'll add those up. So we'll say 3x plus 19 plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 180. Combine like terms gives us 5x plus 20 is equal to 180 minus 20 minus 20, and we have 5x is equal to 160. So we divide both sides by 5, divide by 5, and we get x is equal to 32. So now that we know that x is 32, we're going to find m, because if we find m, then we can find k. So 2 times by 32 plus 1. So that gives us 64 plus 1. So the measure of angle K is equal to 60, 65 degrees. And then we're done.